Seidel, right? Yes, Did that is. you Evan Bourne? Uh, well, I mean, that, I mean, I am Matt Seidel. I am Evan Bourne. A rose by any other name smells just as sweet. What does it smell like, though? Well, that's, yeah, I, the question is, do you smell what I'm cooking? Oh, man. I do smell it. Okay, right. All right. I guess we're doing it. We're already in. So uh, here we are at Ronin Pro Wrestling in Pembroke Pines with uh, Matt Seidel. And uh, Matt, who are you working tonight? Uh, well, I am uh, working. I'm a great working. match, though. Oh, I'm, wor uh, I'm working. Uh -huh. I am working tonight. I'm going to be wrestling. Wrestling. I will be professional wrestling tonight. Yeah, man. It's going to be interesting. Uh, if you've watched what's already happened tonight the bar's been raised pretty high but the good news is i've been spying on all these guys the whole time in fact i'm listening right now with my other ear while i'm doing this interview i'm concurrently examining what's happening on in the ring and i just make sure that everything that happens before will be topped that the most memorable uh, memorable act the most memorable worker of the night will be me do you, do you go into shows going, I'm going to steal the show, I want to be the best? No, I just want to be myself. And, I mean, if that's what happens, that's what happens. But I do what exactly what I do, the like, which is, of course, to the best of my abilities. I put everything I have out there, how people take it. At, I'm, just making, I'm just painting the picture. And however people take it, they take it however they want it. I want them to love it. I want them to feel that same connection that I felt when I watched wrestling back when I was a kid. It reached through the TV screen and just snatched me up and made me want to be a part of it. That's what I'm going for. But, man, if people want to just take it, if they just want to smile and laugh, if they want to play with their phone the whole time, I don't care. It doesn't, off it doesn't offend me. I'm putting it out there because it, fe like, it feels right to put it out there. And I just hope everybody else can enjoy it. Hold on. That doesn't offend you when you get up on the top rope and there's dudes in the first couple of rows? On their phones? Well, I don't know. I don't think this ever happened. But I would. I mean, I would imagine it. I'd imagine if it happened, I would not feel personally slighted because you know what? Like part of the experience of wrestling is it, taking a picture, writing something funny, and showing it to your friend. And if you're not having fun, then you're not doing it right. And so whatever it means for them to have a good time is fine by me. But I'm still doing my thing. Like it does. Like it's. It is a symbiotic thing between the fans and the wrestlers. But at the same time, I, I'm going out there and I'm doing. Like I, I do everything I can to. But I. You. I can't be doing it with how people will feel about it in mind. I just go out there to do the best wrestling that, you know, when I watched wrestling, I was like, I want to do it like this but better. That's what I go in the ring and do. Well, congratulations on uh, getting here with TNA now. How is, how is life in TNA? Well, man, I, I do work for Impact Wrestling, but I'm just a straight-up freelance agent in wrestling. I can work for anybody at any time, and basically every company calls me up. Uh, I mean, I did uh, WrestleMania. I've done Wrestle Kingdom, and then coming up is Slammiversary. You tell me, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm hitting pretty well these days. Uh, there's a lot of incredible events. Man, there's so, the wrestling scene is on fire in Europe, in England. It's so, it's so intense, and I started feeling it three years ago, and I knew about all these guys, and I could have told you that you better stay tuned because wrestling was about to get that boom again, just like we had 97 when it got real. It, wrestling has become its own things separate from what it was in the past and now when people think of pro wrestlers they don't think of Hulk Hogan they're thinking of guys like me when you say what does a pro wrestler look like this is what a pro wrestler looks like in this day and age and that's why there's all those people out there screaming it's not because of the past it's because of the present and we're scooping it up and killing it worldwide with wrestling you know at, at a peak right now uh, in WWE doing all these things like 205 and the Cruiserweight Classic did you think you were going to get a call for that I mean, of course I did. Yeah. Dude, I'm the Why best. Why didn't you? I mean, it's just, you know, opportunity. I cut you off. Yeah, You're the best cruiser. Yeah, I mean, I, I am, of course, junior heavyweight X division, whatever you want to call it. The way everything, everybody tries to put their matches on, they're basically just trying to do what I do. It's as simple as that. I mean, it, I was just lucky to be there ahead of the curve to be the driving force behind bringing this amazing style of wrestling from Japan that combined... Lucha Libre, American professional wrestling, Canadian wrestling, and Japanese wrestling all into one beautiful mix that fans worldwide just absolutely can't get enough of. And so I, I'm not surprised that this took off. I'm surprised it's taken so long, but it, it's, it's always just been a matter of time. I knew when I was in WWE it was a matter of time before they opened up uh, a cruiserweight division again. I mean, that was always there. It is always present. And I mean, I think these guys, there's so much talent. They deserve a platform, and I'm glad that these guys have it. You know, it's... They, I'm. I think it's a wonderful thing that they have that platform. Did part of you go, I should be in that tournament? I mean, it's not, like, like I said, it's not like I wasn't invited to be a part of it. I, I, so you were invited to be part of it? Of course. I mean, 
of course. We just talked about that. Wait, I wait, was wait, good. Wait. Why would they not call? I mean, it's not like we're not friends, man. I mean, like, well, uh, yeah, I've, I mean, he, but I loved working with New Japan, and I that was my goal. I plan on wrestling, doing basically New Japan Ring of Honor ad nauseum, but right now I'm doing Impact, which is working out incredibly well. So the thing is, I just kind of take it as it goes and try and maximize the opportunities that are in front of me. Uh, I just really like doing Japanese-style wrestling. What have you learned about uh, wrestling, or what, have, what has changed about your style since going to New Japan? Uh, well, I mean, I think just the you are like the people you're around the most, mm -hmm. and so I think the influence of just be uh, of the guys that I was with in Japan uh, brought me back to where I was that first time I had been going to Japan with Dragon Gate, and man, it just it connected me to my core. It was like it's like going back to the old dojo. It's like showing up at ground at stage one where I really turned from uh, somebody who was doing wrestling as a hobby to someone who was doing it as a profession. Uh, it's always been my life, but it, it, when I started doing Japan, it, that's when things got real. And so going back to Japan, it just tunes you into that. The, they have the best work ethic. They have the best mentality. They, these are, they're just incredible people, and the, the bar is consistently being raised and pushed forward, and you know, that's, that's the game I like to play. Do you feel like your style of wrestling in WWE was, like, a little different? You good? Oh, man, yeah. I just, oh, my gosh. My, was my what was style this? in WWE? Oh, man, it's just I'm trying to get warmed up. I got to wrestle. There's a lot going on. You guys have no idea. That, I mean, I'm not even ready to rock and roll, but I got to get loose. You know, it's a, it's a process yeah. to get ready. And that's why we appreciate yeah. your time. Hey, I know, I know you do. It's just I appreciate your uh, questions. What was that last one that I was dodging? <laughs> Uh, we don't have to ask it no, then. No, okay. no it's I, fine. Didn't, I literally didn't, don't remember. No, it was just I, a lot of guys that had a great um, lucha style in the indies or in Japan or somewhere like that go to WWE and have certain limitations. Did that happen to you? I don't know, man. I don't think I was limited by anything. I, I, I think I was, I did pretty well. I mean, I think, you know, knowing, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I'm sure I could have been more successful. But really, what is that? What's more successful? I don't know. I'm still pretty happy. So, I mean, you know, I, I'm not a guy who looks at stats. I, I don't care who won the, foot, the Super Bowl in 73, and I don't know where WrestleMania 23 was. I just don't, like, that's not me. I don't live my life like that. I don't care about, you know, like, it's so, what, what I did at WWE, did it serve me now? Yes, absolutely. My God, oh, you guys have no idea what it's like to walk in there. I'm 24 years old, and it, the wizards of wrestling are all in front of me, and you can ask them any question you want, and they'll just give you free advice. Like, nowadays, every, it, it's... The business is so different from when I began to now that it's important for me to take a look at the business today and think about how I want to be today uh, as opposed to carrying any momentum from the past. So, I mean, would you... Are you all right? Oh, my God. Oh. Somebody must be thinking about me. I don't know. Is that how it works? Mm -hmm. uh, would you have done anything different then? Well, I mean, so the subjunctive text is irrelevant, and I, I don't apply it to my life. Could have, should have. It's just, I mean, like, it's that's an exercise in, in, you know, treading water, or even worse. I, you know, you could. I mean, I can go back and say I wish I could have done something different in this whole interview. I don't ever like. I'm serious. You can sit back what? and think about that with your whole life. So I don't. I mean, I don't hang on to that stuff. And honestly, man, there was a lot of times where I used to be hung up on a few mistakes that I've made. But it's like you just got to forgive yourself and move on and just. I like exactly where I'm at now, so if, if it didn't happen exactly like that, it wouldn't be here now doing this interview. I guess arguably you can go, that thing happened in the past. If a situation like this happens again in the present or the future, I've learned from it and can do something different now. Yeah, but I don't really think about that stuff. I don't really worry about like if this situation comes up again. I mean, I guess I just like to think that I'm growing and like when that situation presents itself, my intuition will lead me in the right direction. And uh, hopefully I won't be just trying to overthink things and use, my, use the cultural conditioning that's influenced me. I'll actually be using my own personal internal judgment to make these decisions. We're getting deep here. This is very the deep. The only place I go, my friend. You're, there's no shallowness. It's all uh, deep. Absolutely not. I, I'm 
really couldn't, like I said, I couldn't care less about the score of the, the sports team or anything like that. Man, I think people need to have the conversations about the scary topics and the things that they're worried about. And I, I'm all, I'm, I, you know, we can talk about wrestling too, sure. But I'm really not even, I'm only an expert in myself wrestling. That's what I can tell you about me in wrestling. But honestly, like the overall industry and all that stuff, man, I play outside ball. I'm an outsider. Uh, so you don't watch wrestling? I, I No, I love wrestling. There's so much wrestling that I love and watch. But I don't, I mean, honestly, man, I don't like watching it on TV. I like living it. I live it live, man. The best way to watch wrestling is you just smell it and, like, get out there live and watch it. Uh, that's the way I prefer to do it. Uh, and, but, of course, man, you got you to gotta watch your friends wrestle and support these guys. Oh, there's so much access to the video now we're, we're very spoiled and I mean, there's a lot of good wrestling out there but no I don't watch too much of it because uh, then I'll look like these guys who all do the same moves and they all move in the same way and they all look the same and they all steal my shit it's unnecessary for me to watch them because it just it, it wouldn't make me any more creative it wouldn't uh, I can get inspired in certain ways but I try not to get too much inspired like I watch this these guys do a three-way, and yes, it inspires me, but I cannot use that because th that's their creativity, and I let them have that, and I find my own ways to, use, to get influences, to give me creativity, to be an original, an individual, genuine and real when I step in that ring, and people will know that I'm not trying to be anything else. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to play something. I'm not trying to be that. I just am me. This is what you get. Matt Seidel shows up and delivers every single night. Tune in. Turn on, take off. I guess we should end right there, right? I feel bad. Yeah, You're like, I love wrestling so much, and it's happening right now. Yeah, we can hear it in the background. I'm antsy, man, and I, and okay. I want to get geared up and start whooping. Man, listen, it, 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 we still get this fired up before we go. I out love there. it. So it's a good time to interview, guys. But I, I've maintained my cool, but I'm about to get fired up. Thank you very much for the I appreciate interview. It. I appreciate it. Thank you, you, Matt. Hey, anytime. All right, awesome. Thank okay. you. You're the man. Oh, Matt Seidel on Instagram, M-A-T-T-S-Y-D-A-L. Leave a comment, buy a t-shirt, pro wrestling tees. Please, thank you guys. I need some money desperately. Please, it's tough times these days. I could really use a couple bucks, but thank you. I love you.